I'm Sinister Sediment, and my runoff cannot be stopped. I'm Phosphorus Fury, and I'm going to make your water green. <laughs> the waterways of Green Bay are being threatened by two evil villains, Phosphorus Fury and Sinister Sediment. These villains are turning the Fox River and Bay green, brown, and wreaking havoc on the environment. It is up to one elite team to stop these villains. The STEM superheroes at New Water are trained to defend the river and bay, but the evil villains are notorious for still finding ways to harm the water. So the STEM superheroes will be recruiting and training a team to help defend the bay. Commander Cleanwater is the head of the defenders of the bay, and he will help our community defeat these villains by training you on how to protect our waters. Hello, Commander Cleanwater. Looks like some evil villains are attacking the bay. Attention team, time to assemble. Our clean water is in jeopardy. Send your coordinates to Green Bay, Commander Cleanwater. Great, we don't have time to spare. Commander Cleanwater checks on the river and the bay. With ongoing attacks by the evil villains, Commander Cleanwater is ready to tell you the story of the STEM superheroes and start your training. As you embark on this journey with the STEM superheroes, you will build your skills in science, technology, math, and engineering. These skills will help you learn how to fight these evil villains and help rally the community to do the same. So you haven't heard of the STEM superheroes at New Water before? Well, this amazing team of STEM experts has been cleaning the waters of Green Bay for over 85 years. Flush the toilet, drain your bathtub, do your laundry. This water that you use comes to New Water where the STEM superheroes clean it before it goes back to the bay. Your STEM superheroes are no match for us. <laughs> phosphorus Fury enters the sewer system by putting extra phosphorus into some soaps and detergents and other products that go down the drain. The waste that goes down the toilet already contains a lot of phosphorus from the foods we eat. And if all of this phosphorus gets into our waterways, it will turn green with too much algae. You have no chance. Sinister sediment puts dirt and sand into the sewer system through cracks and pipes when rainwater leaks in. All of this dirt can turn our water brown and murky. <laughs> These evil villains not only get into sewer water, but they also enter the river and bay from all over our community. Phosphorus Fury puts extra phosphorus for fertilizers used on lawns and manure and fertilizer used on farms. Sinister Sediment puts extra dirt into our waters. Sediment from construction sites, uncovered fields, and dirt moving over paved areas can get into our waters. Are you ready to become one of the defenders of the bay? Seven days of action-packed training are about to start where you will join the STEM superheroes in their efforts to clean our waterways. Here you see New Waters Metro Waste Wet Well. Right here we have wrangled Phosphorus Fury and Sinister Sediment. This is the start of the process. Now, what to do with them? Phosphorus Fury and Sinister Sediment are a couple of evil dudes. And as expected, they don't come alone. And they don't go down easy. Once at the wastewater plant and in the wet well, we try to remove their buddies, the rags and screenings, as quick as possible.
this is where primary clarification takes place. Once it leaves the pump station, sinister sediment and phosphorus fury end up here in the primary clarifiers. This is the end of the road for sinister sediment, where he settles out and he's never to be seen again. Phosphorus Fury, on the other hand, will get by here. He slips by and he ends up in the aeration basins. Commander Cleanwater here again. What you're seeing here is one of our several aeration basins at New Water. This is where the microorganisms or bugs live. By this stage in the process, sinister sediment has already been dealt with and captured. Now all we're left with is phosphorus fury. And this is where that happens. After aeration, the once hungry bugs or microorganisms end up here in the final clarifiers where it's now bedtime. Their bellies are full and they're settling out in the final clarifier where what you're left with is clean water that is ready to be released back into the environment. Here you see the gravity belt thickeners, one of the key pieces of equipment at new water in removing phosphorus fury from the clean water. At this point, phosphorus fury is mixed with a polymer that removes more water and thickens him up to be sent down the line and never to be seen again. Here you see the gravity filters. The gravity filters are the very last step in the wastewater treatment process. Sometimes, after final clarification, phosphorus fury and sinister sediment are very, very small and they don't always get caught in there. At this point, anything that's left gets removed from the process by the process of filtering through a sand filter bed. What you're looking at here is the final effluent channel, aka clean water. Phosphorus fury and sinister sediment and all their evil buddies are long gone. What this represents is a job well done by New Water. Watershed Warrior Woman is out trying to protect our environment from sinister sediment and phosphorus fury. These evil villains run off our fields, lawn, streets, and more, ultimately ending up in our rivers and Green Bay. Sinister sediment can turn our rivers chocolate brown, blocking light for underground plants to grow and affecting our wildlife. Phosphorus fury can cause algae to grow out of control, turning our water pea green and causing harm to other animals and humans. When these two evil villains work together, they can cause huge water quality problems and create new threats like the Green Bay Dead Zone, a land of no oxygen lurking at the bottom of the bay. Today it's your turn to become a watershed warrior.